annual National Restaurant Association show in Chicago, Illinois, is known for bringing people together all in the name of food and hospitality. People, yes, that's a given, but what about robots? So this is Play-Doh. Play-Doh is an indoor delivery robot, essentially, that was designed for the hospitality industry. So just to start here, <laughs> we'll give you a little bit of personality from Play-Doh. So Play-Doh is designed to be very kind of user friendly and, you know, comfortable around, uh, something that would be comfortable around people. People would be comfortable around the robot. You can edit later, right? Meet Corwin Carson, who was most certainly not a robot. Looking at you, looking at her the whole time, not, a, not at the camera. What, what about my arms? Can I? <laughs> I'm Corwin Carson. I'm the CEO of United Robotics Group, Americas Inc. This company is adding personality into a space that really is the new frontier in hospitality. And it's no secret that the entire industry took a big hit in the hiring department thanks to the global pandemic. The stats we hear from restaurant owners, it's always the same story. It's almost impossible to fill the shifts. And if you do, the turnover will is punishing as well. So I think Bureau of Labor Statistics reported that 500,000 jobs go underserved every month in the hospitality space. They go unfilled, essentially. With all of those open roles to fill, it makes sense that this little guy or gal could be rolling into a restaurant near you sooner than you think. So the simplest use cases are serving, so from the kitchen to the tables, or busing, of course, after the meal, back to the kitchen area. But every restaurant and venue is different, right? No two places are the same. Play-Doh is designed to be able to handle any dining space. So essentially, and we'll see if you can see a little glimpse, but you know, we have the tablet. There's also the tablet integrated into the robot. But essentially, you can create a map by walking the robot around the restaurant, around the facility. And it creates a almost like a blueprint of the facility, including the tables, the walls, you know, any other features. Once you've done that, you use utilize the tablet to add destinations like table one, kitchen, dish pit, things like that. And once you've done that, you simply just push a couple buttons on the face of the unit, on the tablet, or through a headset. You can also you can actually do audio commands and tell Play-Doh where to go and what to do. Play-Doh and all the software and support cost about $20,000, or a lease program offers the technology at about $20 a day. Corwin has over 20 years of experience in robotics, and he's proudest of the fact that pretty much anyone can use this technology to make restaurant life easier. I think what's most unique about Play-Doh is how easy to use it is. So everyone that we've ever taught to utilize this product is an expert within a couple hours. And in the, you know, back to the kind of intimidation of robotics and technology, that early adoption phase, you know, people, they, they want to be, they want to be comfortable around it, right? They want to be able to use it themselves. Uh, and they don't have technical teams. A restaurant doesn't have a team of robotics experts. So what's most exciting about it is that the, it was all designed in a way that anyone can be a completely comfortable user with the product. If you can use a cell phone, you can use this product.